Yo, dudes, B Man from Vertex, Denny and Nick. What's up, fellas? Yo, dude. Same old. Back with another just a tip for the for our fans, for our fanatics, for our friends, for our fellows, <laughs> our wives. <laughs> yeah, for whoever watches these videos, our um, proud parents. <laughs> one of the things I've learned over time is to just take the time and drill the pilot hole for something that you have to screw in. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I would just start with the screw and it would wobble or it would fall off and I'd have to get off the ladder and go get the screw. Now I just drill the, the pilot hole. The screw goes right in where it's supposed to go. No trouble. No up and down on the ladder. Take the time and screw. Do the pilot hole. Just do the pilot hole, everybody. You have two drills? I do have two drills. That makes it way more appealing you know? i would you... argue that the best part of using a drill is seeing how fast you can switch the, the components in and out right i feel like i'm a pit crew yeah <laughs> done i guess done. so but like if you have something where like you had to hold it up and you, you know what i mean oh, yeah, like, that's the you know and you're like <laughs> you know like yeah but yeah i'm with you i know whenever my dad and i do projects um he's old school and he just prides himself on his ability to like do everything in the fewest steps possible. So there's always, you know, curse words being thrown about and me on all fours looking around the ladders to like, oh, where did it go? Where do you think it went? Like, wait, what? <laughs> How many did you drop? Um, yeah. So yeah, I feel you. Yeah. Pilot hole is a easy life hack. Yeah. I also imagine people are uh, turned away from the, the idea of doing the pilot hole because you're now, if you're drilling through the drywall you're going to create that little bit of drywall dust and i've got to do the cleanup mm -hmm. but in all honesty it's never that much where you can't just blow it away and forget you saw it <laughs> right just go on Every you don't have to get out the vacuum don't think it's too much more work you're not doing anything just push it i aside. always uh i always have the vacuum handy when i'm drilling like i'll have it next to my drill and try to get it and then believe it or not i just bought it actually um recently milwaukee just made this new tool and it goes on the end of your vacuum and it's like, uh, it go tees out like this and it's got a rubber seal on the back and the back is open and the, the top funnels down into a hole. So when you turn your vacuum on, it literally right up against the wall, just sucks up against it, hands free. And oh, then it's nice. a little funnel. So you're, you're sanding. It, yeah. It's where you're sanding or you, where you're drilling, you just put it below it and everything literally just falls down right into your vacuum. Nice. Ah, it was like cool 20 product. bucks. Great little tool. Yeah. yeah sounds I can't like we're going to need a product review. I, it's awesome. I can't believe somebody didn't think of it yet. Like it was like we patched where we did the electric and then we sanded everything beneath it and like literally no cleanup, just sucked it right down. It's pretty cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Sweet. Very cool. All right. So that's it for this one. Just uh, drill the pilot hole, do the little prep steps. Yeah. They're probably worth it. It's a life lesson. Yeah. The pilot hole is a symbolism for a lot of different things in life. Just do the prep work and everything else is a lot easier. Yeah. All right. Until next time, keep your shields up.